how to beat legions of Russian online trollers and ISIS propagandists at their own game, combating VAT fraud to the tune of 170 billion euros a year, and a filmmaking legend comes to Parliament to mark a milestone. Some of the top agenda items coming up in Parliament in Brussels next week. Armies of trolls, distorted narratives, campaigns of misinformation, blatantly planted, patently false, just some of the modern tools of information warfare which Russia and so-called ISIS stand accused of using. On Monday, the Foreign Affairs Committee pushes back, demanding increased counter-propaganda efforts, such as closer intelligence cooperation, more support to free media in neighbouring countries, and building up the EU's and NATO's information systems. Talking of Russia and its important energy supplies to Europe, how to improve ways to protect those member states whose supplies could be at risk in a crisis? The International Trade Committee will vote on auctions on Thursday, including better cooperation and risk assessment and, as a last resort, a compulsory solidarity clause to support those in need. There'll be a vote in the Economic Affairs Committee on moves towards a European VAT system. It's a long road, strewn with many obstacles put up by Member States, and Parliament had wanted more, but it does address VAT fraud, which accounts for an estimated loss of 170 billion euros annually, almost a third of it in cross-border fraud. The vote is on Thursday. And now, in brief, some other items coming up. There's a vote on Tuesday on the EU's 2017 budget in the Budgets Committee. Key focus, migration, terrorism and organised crime, the digital single market and energy union. Also, the Foreign Affairs Committee joins human rights and development colleagues to select the shortlist for this year's Sakharov Prize for Freedom of Thought. On Monday and Tuesday, the Fisheries Committee debates several measures to protect fish stocks and marine ecosystems in seas near and far. On Tuesday, the Economic Affairs Committee votes on the European Central Bank's 2015 report. One demand of many, watch out for housing bubbles due to rock-bottom interest rates. The annual Lux Prize celebrating the work of outstanding filmmakers in the EU is a landmark event in the cultural calendar. It's about encouraging talent and sharing Europe's diversity of culture, language, geography and history. And to mark 10 years of the prize, the acclaimed British film director Ken Loach will be in Brussels on Monday to exchange views with members of Parliament's Culture Committee. One to look out for for sure in the coming parliamentary week in Brussels. Thank you.